listen to a lot of country, so when I try to write country, I find it really hard to do. Um, in fact, my, my country sound. I, I have two, two songs that, that I think are country, but probably really aren't. <laughs> in my mind, they, they sound like country. And, and, and this one I wrote um, as. Uh, I was sitting with my, with my good friend Jeff Fazain, we were in Edinburgh, Scotland, and we were sitting in the Royal Gardens, you know, looking up at the castle. We had just spent the, you know, the, the afternoon sitting in a Scottish pub where they were playing Johnny Cash, of all things. Um, so we were going to write a song, because it, it was my 10th wedding anniversary, not with Jeff, but with my wife. Um, our 10th, yeah. My, my grammar is not so good. Um, so, so the song naturally came out country. Um, and, and we weren't going to play it in beat, except there were these bagpipers standing up on the overpass. And if you know anything about Scottish bagpipes, you'll know that they're tuned just slightly south of B natural. And there's no other key that you can play bagpipes in. So if we were going to write this song with these bagpipers in that spot in the universe, this song had to come out in beat. So this was, uh, this was a song that, uh, a country song that my friend Jeff and I wrote for my 10th wedding anniversary. And, uh, and then I, I tried to come up with, with the name of a, of a Scottish protagonist. Um, and I came up with the first name for a Scottish protagonist. It's worse than a snail joke you write. <laughs> so, without further ado, these introductions get longer and longer, don't they, Steve? <laughs> Thank you very much. 